I'm dragging. I'm on dragging. Give me cover. Oh, hit, hit, oh. hit. Sorry, dude. Oh, it's all right, man. It was worth it giving it a shot. What's going on, Airsofters? My name's Matt, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit more different than what you're probably used to seeing on YouTube, and that is discussing sportsmanship in Airsoft. Recently, while scrolling through YouTube videos, I have noticed the overwhelming popularity of these cheaters exposed type videos. Personally, I've never been a huge fan of these kinds of videos, but I really don't have an issue with the large majority of them. The reason for this is, well, because we are doing just what the video implies, exposing cheaters in Airsoft. And by bringing this issue of cheaters forward in the Airsoft community and showcasing it on video, it sends a message to potential cheaters saying that this kind of activity is obviously not welcome in our community. And if you're caught cheating, well, you could end up in a YouTube highlight reel. However, the problem that I have is when people do not deal with these cheaters in a mature and professional manner. I'm sure you've seen the cheater shot point blank videos or the cheater gets punched in the face kind of videos. This kind of behavior only gives Airsoft a bad name and hurts our community far more than it helps. It's one thing to showcase cheaters on YouTube, but it is another to act appropriately when faced with those who do not follow the rules. So I have noticed that we do not give credit where it is due to the good Airsoft players who make up the overwhelming majority of the Airsoft community. Instead, we only really focus on the few bad players that show up every now and then. These videos, in my mind, could potentially discourage new Airsoft players from joining the community, or at worst, even possibly encourage immature behavior because of their popularity. So today, we will show you the side of the Airsoft community that does not get published nearly as often, but in my mind is an accurate representation of the majority of Airsoft players out there today. We will show you certain questionable situations between us and other Airsoft players and how we chose to handle them. And finally, we will show you some ways you yourself can be a positive influence on the Airsoft community. Let's get right into it. Alright, so our first clip takes place at American Milsim's Operation Iron Horse. Currently, we are spectating Tyler as he jumps up onto a catwalk in search of enemy players. When he does come across an enemy player, he encounters a certain situation that I'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with. Let's see how he chooses to deal with this situation. Alright, let's break this clip down and see what happened. As you can see, an enemy player walks through the door, and Tyler engages him with about four shots. However, this player did not call his hit. Does this mean that this guy is a cheater? Not necessarily. One of three different things could have potentially happened here. Number one, Tyler missed the shot. As unlikely as it may seem to miss at this range, it is actually very hard to hit somebody with a gun, and people are often under the common misunderstanding that if you point your gun at someone in a general direction and you pull the trigger, you will hit your target. This couldn't be farther from the truth. So even at ranges like this, it is still very possible to miss somebody. So when taking these cheaters into account, it is very important to remember that you may have not actually hit them despite thinking that you did so. Number two, and probably the most likely scenario, the player simply did not feel the shot or hear himself being hit. In Airsoft, we are wearing a lot of tactical equipment and camouflage. So when we get hit by BBs, sometimes we necessarily don't feel it because there's not enough pressure to contact the skin. The same applies for hearing yourself being hit as well. In the airsoft battlefield, there's a lot of noise going on. I'm talking about guns going off, people shouting, grenades exploding, etc. And at times, it can be very hard to hear what's going on, especially hearing yourself being hit by a tiny 6mm round. So, does that make this guy a cheater? Not necessarily. Like I said before, he simply may just be ignorant to the fact that he was hit. This is the one major flaw with Airsoft. We simply do not have a definitive way to prove or disprove whether someone was hit or not. So, how do we deal with these kinds of situations? Well, we deal with these kinds of situations personally the same way that we deal with conclusion number three, and that is this guy is a cheater. He felt the shot, he heard it, but he chose not to call it. So what do you do in this situation? <laughs> and the answer is very simple. You shoot him again. This time after being shot, the player called his hit no problem. And as you'll notice, Tyler didn't shoot him 50 different times trying to hurt him in some form or fashion. He simply double tapped him and what do you know, tango down. You'll also notice that Tyler did not shout nor scream at him to call his hit. From personal experience, and I think the whole team can vouch for this as well, um, shouting at somebody or screaming at somebody to call their hit is not only ineffective and doesn't work at all, but it only takes away the gameplay experience from everyone else around you. If you do have a problem with a player who you feel is not calling their hit or playing by the rules, simply take it up with a referee and let them deal with it. 
Let's move on to the next clip. It's a part of the building. No, no. It's technically a roof. Roof. This is a roof? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a building, but okay. So in this situation, there's a little bit of dispute as to whether or not Tyler can be in the position that he's at. The players on the ground believe that Tyler cannot be up there because in the American Milson briefing, they told us that we were not allowed to jump over these barriers that were built into these houses. However, Tyler in fact does believe he is allowed up there because these barriers have a catwalk built in between them. He claims that because that it is a part of the structure, he is in fact allowed to be up there. Let's see how they deal with this situation. I would say, yeah, get an admin. I would call an admin now, and then we'll talk about it. All right. I mean, you're right. I, I don't mind dying. I've got so much today. <laughs> Where are you from? Florida. What part? Bradenton. Really? Yeah. No shit. I'm from Brunswick. Oh, cool. Yeah. So as you can see, after a short discussion as to whether who is right or wrong, they decide that the logical solution to this is to simply go ahead and get a referee and have this dispute solved. And while they're waiting on a referee, they simply halt their gameplay and have a friendly little conversation. There was no yelling, no fighting, no bickering, and they simply just managed the situation in the most mature manner possible. Completely. Hey, good job, man. Hey, dude. It counted. Thanks. Alright, see you guys later. Ultimately, the referee shows up and determines that Tyler was in fact in the right to be up there. Nobody got bent out of shape, it was smiles all around, and everyone just shook hands and moved on. This is the kind of behavior that I find very typical in Airsoft games. It's because of this friendly, I guess you could even say brotherhood-like relationship that Airsoft players share that makes this community very enjoyable to be in and fun to be around. Next up, I'm going to show you a situation that I was faced with very recently that involves calling your hit. Shot run? He's down, you're good. Uh, I'm hit, I'm hit. All right, let's back it up and I'll explain to you exactly what happened. In this game, I'm tasked with having to blow up the fox. And by doing so, I have to open a compartment on the front of the tank and activate an air horn. At this point, I have the air horn out of the compartment, in my hands, and ready to set off. All I need to do now is figure out how to actually activate it. And right at literally the last second I was about to activate the air horn, I was shot in my legs. Now I had a choice to make. I could have just simply said, oh, it's just to hit my legs, nobody's gonna notice, nobody's gonna care. All I have to do is just press this button and we win the game. But then I said, hey, even if I did blow this horn, even if we did win the game, I would know that we really didn't and I had to cheat in order to win. And that's not the kind of victory I want. I want to walk away from a game knowing full well that I did not have to break the rules, and I won fair and square. No strings attached. So the moral of the story is, when in doubt, just call it out. Be the bigger man and call your hit. You'll feel more accomplished as an airsoft player, and maybe even learn from the mistake that you made in the first place to get hit. Uh, I'm hit, I'm hit. So lastly, we're going to show you what we personally try to do after we've been shot to congratulate the other team on making a good play. Let's roll the montage. Hit. Good job, man. Hit. Hit. Good job, dude. Oh, hit. Oh, good shot, man. Hit. Hit. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, hit. Good shot, dude. That was nice. One, two, three, go. That's good, man. I was just like, you know what? I gotta smoke. I just wanna run. <laughs> Alright, you two have a nice day. Okay, enough of that. But as you can see, most of the time after we've been shot, we try to congratulate the enemy player on doing a good job. This not only shows a sign of respect, but also makes the playing atmosphere more enjoyable and a lot more fun to be around. In conclusion, the vast majority of the Airsoft community is made up of mature, rule-abiding players who I have experienced personally to be extremely friendly and fun to be around. Like any other sport or hobby, there will always be those few who do not play by the rules and make the experience less enjoyable for everyone else. But at the end of the day, it's not about acknowledging that these players exist, but rather how we choose to deal with them. It's up to us to be responsible individuals when faced with situations of adversary and conflict. But thank you guys for watching today. Hopefully you all enjoyed this newer style of video, and who knows, maybe you learned something from it. 
Let me know of some of the things that you do to help improve the Airsoft community in the comments section down below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.